Hi friends, it's Valerie. Welcome back to this week's grocery haul. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love if you'd hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I put out what's for dinner videos as well as videos like this and I hope that you enjoy this week's grocery haul. So let's get started. All right guys, so I got a little bit of an Albertsons haul here for you. Um, it, I went on the Friday deals and picked up some of these Pepsis that they have going on. They were like $5 each 20 pack when you bought two. So I got two of those. And then also for the Friday deals, they had chicken and that's what I went there for. I needed it for tonight's dinner. So it was like 99 cents a pound when you bought like or like five pounds for five dollars i think anywhere over three pounds it was like a dollar a pound so there's that got that because i'm going to be using that for dinner tonight and also picked up these zen waters got these free from ibotta and got some extra sharp cheddar cheese this is a cheese we use very frequently so i like to always have an extra on hand and then have some butter here and then this week they also have these thick cut bacon on sale it's like three pound package and it's only like nine dollars or ten dollars something like that so that's really good also picked up this uh heavy whipping cream for some dinner and baking that i'm gonna have coming up here so i got this big container but it's like a 32 ounce package so give that a try i normally get the one from sam's club but i saw this and i like even that it's like a nice twist top bottle so that should be good also have some packaged bag cheeses like a sharp cheddar and just a mozzarella i had coupons for those as well for free and then i needed this sauce here i thought it was going to be actually for the dinner i'm making tonight but it's not but it's going to be in another recipe coming up so stay tuned for that it's going to be a crock pot chicken recipe and then I got some popcorn just because I was craving popcorn. So I got a big container of that and a tube of tomato paste. I normally use cans, um, but I've always wanted to try these like squeeze tubes. They last longer. You don't need to like open a whole can when you just need a little bit. So I picked that up as well as a can of um, these olives. I'm gonna be needing these to do a, that Greek pasta salad I think I've shown in a video before and then i got some hamburger buns these are actually for tonight's dinner um just so sim simple buns and then a couple things of penne because i'm just need to restock on those i used a lot of penne recently just wanted to fill that up and then just some uh, napkins i've never used these ones before but i like those like entertaining kind they tend to be really like like soft and then also durable like they don't just fall apart so i'm gonna try those out and then a few bananas and a onion for that greek pasta salad as well and then sorry about that i actually realized when i was naming these pasta salad things i was like wait i have things i needed for that salad that i know i got but they were still in a bag that i had left and didn't notice so i also picked up the cucumber that's also for the greek pasta salad as well as the red bell pepper and the feta you need all those for that pasta salad and i'll go ahead and leave a little link to a video that had that pasta salad in it um, if you want to make that and that is all guys all right, I also have a little bit of a Walmart haul for here for you today. I just went in to pick a couple things up for tonight's dinner um, before the football game. So I'm going to just start over here. I just got some cactus cooler. I just got a 12-pack of that. That's one of my favorite sodas. Does anyone else just love this? It's like so refreshing and good. And I just love the fruity flavor without being too overwhelming, I guess. And then I got just a couple cans of kitten food for that little wild woman, which I should show you what she looks like now, guys. Like, big update on her. She's much bigger now, um, even though it hasn't been that long. We've had her for about four months now. Anyways, but um, yeah, and I also got these greenies because my boy cat loves these a lot. And then I got these lickable treats. Um, I was looking for kitten ones, but they didn't have any. So I figured I could still use this with the kitten if she will eat them because um, she's still getting all her nutrition from her actual food. So I'm not too worried about like what the treats are going to have as far as kitten nutrition. It's just a treat. So she doesn't get that very often. So I'm going to give these a try with her. I got the tuna and the chicken 
and then this was for tonight's dinner i needed a bag of doritos a whole bag i had one but it's only a part of a big i actually might use um this whole bag plus a little for my other one we'll see how that one goes but anyways and then i got just these downy unstoppables tied these are like so good like oh man i love these they make your laundry smell amazing um I've been using like the gain one just because I got them like on sale or something like that but I got this and it's my favorite and I also picked up this Febreze cranberry scent thing here I'm just gonna put this out to add some of that fall scent so I love candles but my boyfriend hates candles and he has bad allergies and the scents typically are something he cannot handle but if it's a nice light fresh scent which this is he can deal with it so yeah i got that and then just some of our regular just drinks i got the white cran peach and the the bolt house farms blue goddess blue goddess blue goodness um i've actually never tried that flavor i believe i've only had the strawberry banana one and the pomegranate but yeah i'm gonna give those a try it's got a lot of servings of this or fruits in them and um I need that in my life recently so uh yeah i also picked up some seasoning salt just because i need that and a uh, fresh mushroom a pasta sauce just to restock the one i used the other day and then just a couple bananas and then tomatoes onions garlic that's gonna be for that taco casserole thing and then just one of these little top ramen chicken bowl things i really like these um i like this specific like bowl style they have like a little oil pouch in them it's really really good um i try not to eat these very often but when you just need something like this very quick and not too much food um this works to just keep around for that and also just some lettuce for tonight's dinner and that was all of this little bit of walmart all right also i got a few things from target and i just went to go pick up some milk because i needed it and i placed an order online for it because it was only a dollar that way so yeah i went and picked that up and then while i was there i just made a purchase also because i don't know but like target circle had like which is like the target app they had like an offer for spend like a certain amount and you get like ten dollars back in your target circle so i went ahead and did that because mine was like thirty dollars my boyfriend's is like 25 so i was like well it can vary obviously but mine was 30 so you had to spend that to get the ten dollars back so i've been wanting some of these like larger um bowls but they're like like that plate style bowl um kind of like shallow and um so i picked these up these are only like four dollars a piece they didn't have very many of them though um like for me to get like a whole set's worth so I was like, okay, I just really need the two anyways. And they're mostly for my videos. So you guys can see the presentation of the food a little bit better when I need a bowl. It can be spread out instead of like in my normal bowls that I have that are really compact. And I picked up this little um, like Lazy Susan there. I was looking for one. I've been struggling. I was going to make one actually because I wanted a wood one, but I needed it to be about 15 inches or that's what I was wanting because it's going to go in a cabinet of mine um, that's going to hold all my like oils and vinegars and things like that. But um, yeah, I needed that to be like a certain space wise and everyone was either like way smaller, like 12 inches or it was way bigger, like 18 inches. So I struggled finding one. And if I did also like, let me take this out really quick, but the bottom of the turntables here were like just this middle part so when you would put it down it would like be it would rock it'd be super unbalanced like when you put things on one side of it so i was worried about that um and then i was in target and i saw this one and it's plastic it's not really what i was looking for but it is sturdy and it's like a fraction of the cost of some of those wood ones because those are about 30 dollars this was only about $10 and it's going to do exactly what I need. And since it's going in a cabinet and really not being displayed out, I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, so I got that. And then I've been looking for like a produce brush, cleaning brush. And like, um, I don't know, I haven't liked too many of them. I really like these like bamboo style wooden handle ones. I wasn't looking for like a plastic one. Um, so 
I've been waiting to find one that like I really really liked a lot and I really like how dense this is and how wide um, this is to holding your hand very comfortably to scrub potatoes and all those root style vegetables so I got that and then I was just needing a mop head refill for my mop so I grabbed one of those and these are just some non some non some personal items and so I just got some razors and um, a couple of these Nivea creams because I had coupons to make them free and I do really like them to like throw that in my purse. It's really, really good for dry skin and I like to keep this around, especially in the winter in my purse. So yeah, so I just grabbed a couple of those because I said I had coupons and then just, um, some toothpaste because we were needing that. And then I really like these night relaxing all in one cleansing wipes from clean and clear. Um, they smell really good. They are oil free, but to me they do have a like a feeling that almost feels very like moisturizing, but in an oil kind of way. But I like that at night. I really like to leave my face feeling really hydrated at night, so while I sleep, it can absorb in. And although I do like use my wow, I can't even think of the cloths you use to take your makeup off at night, but um. Yeah, I use those and I, I like typically clean my face, I like wash it with face wash. But um, sometimes like I just will use one of these wipes as well, like after, either after I've washed my face or if I had no makeup on and I was just at home. Sometimes I'll just use one of these at night, but I really like the smell. It's very calming for the nighttime. And then I also just picked up some dry shampoo. This is the Not Your Mother's one. And I've, I've been liking these, so... Uh, yeah, I just got that in the toasted coconut scent. They also have like an orange mango one that I like a lot. So yeah, that is all for that. All right, y'all. So I also wanted to include these few things um, that I picked up. So I don't normally go to Whole Foods that often. Um, there's just never like enough things that I'm getting there for me to really stop in. But I received a lot of different coupons from these companies to test these products and leave like reviews on them. So I went to go pick those up so that I could um, do those because I won't get any more of those testing purpose things if I don't actually review the item. So I picked up this Al Aleno's Real Greek Yogurt. I got the lemon curd flavor because that sounds amazing. And then this Garden of Flavor Energy Elixir. It's, um, it's a plant-based energy cold cold press energy and I got the pear reishi flavor I don't know I like pear flavored things so that sounded really good and then it's got probiotic probiotic cultures which for me is very important because um I have some stomach and like digestive issues sometimes um so I try to take probiotics just to like you know maintain a healthy like gut bacteria and all that stuff I know that sounds gross but like it's really important and like if you take care of like your stomach like your gut bacteria it's like can help so much of your other health so you know I just try to stay on top of that and things that are you know have extra probiotics in them I go ahead and try to get that so that was just of course just to review but I'm excited to try it because of those probiotics and then also this A2 um, milk I got the whole milk variety I actually don't even know if they had another variation of that but yeah I got that one and it's ultra pasteurized and it is made um let's see if it says any information there it's easier on digestion so it helps with um, digestive discomfort um but it is real milk so it says from cows not treated with growth hormones anyways but I'm really excited to try this as well because I am not too dairy sensitive, but I do have a problem with it sometimes. So if I have an excess of dairy, so like say I'm having milk and yogurt and cheese and sour cream, like it's just too much for me. So like it's only when I have like an excess amount like that in like a small amount of time, then I can struggle with the issues with that. So I'm pretty excited to try this out in hopes that that will lessen that for me. That will be great. And then these I just grabbed because I was near there and I was there's a home goods right there. And I've been looking for types of jars for a spice rack. I want to build a spice rack. And when I do that, I'll show you guys that process. But for now, I've just been looking for the jars that I'm going to be using for the spices. And 
if you have any good recommendations, can you please leave them down below in the comments? Because I really want something that can kind of fit like measuring spoons in there so I can measure it out um, and have a wide enough opening. This doesn't fit much more than I believe a half tablespoon inside of the opening of the jar. But they were really, really cute um, little mason jar styled um, jars and they were I believe only $2.99 each which is really good it's like under a dollar per jar which is great but I am looking for the best option so I picked these up just because they were there and in case I'm not able to find them again so I picked up the four that they had and we'll just see how those work out but it, like I said if you have any recommendations please leave that in the comments down below and thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and I hope you all have an amazing week